speaking today on behalf of Congolese refugees. We couldn't thank you enough for honoring us with your presence in this place of visit, which count for us more than you can imagine. We are in we are in front of you as the Congolese refugee living in the Maham camp, but relocated from Gihembe and the Kigeme camps. Some of us have been in Rwanda for more than 26 years. We thank the government of Rwanda and UNHCR for the unlimited supporting since more than two decades. We may seem comfortable here, but this is not our home. Since 1996, when the first influx of Congolese refugees arrived in Rwanda, the security situation persisted. persisted. Many of the Congolese Rwanda phone have been killed, at the, killed at the, uh, and the other forces to flee their homeland in different times. And they are currently hosted in Kiziba, Nyabiheke, Kigeme, Maham, and Mogombo. In these last 26 years, despite the spirit, our call and the wish to, to, turn our, to turn our country, it is unfortunately that not a tangible effort where made on, on the side of the D, uh, DRC government and the international community to help us repatriate. Even today, to the Congolese continue to be persecuted, killed, and no justice is rendered to us. We Congolese to see refugees living in Rwanda, although lived by the patriotic process which have just been initiated through tripartite meeting in different times. Congo is the government, Rwanda government, and uh, the UNHCR, we would like to draw the uh, attention to the current, to the current social, po social political security context pre prevailing in the eastern part of the DRC where most of us originated. In fact, we are shocked by a radicalization of local population by the RRC political readers who continue to refute the existence of Congolese refugees in Rwanda, some qualifying them as people who are only there to populate the land of the DRC for the purpose of bacchanizing it. Added this, the rise of hand speech, which continue to be propagated by civil society actors, citizen movement, and the members of the ruling party are our serious concern. We draw your attention on the continuation of killing and the arbitrary arrest against the Tutsi by the Congolese security service in collaboration with the FDLR and the other militias currently turn into local reservists. They are also reading, reading the, the cattle while imposing countries of fear of being persecuted. The information we have is that more than 200 Tutsi were different, different identified in the prison of Makara, Kinshasa, and Munzenze in Goma, respectively. The latter were arrested because of the faith and being Tutsi. They live and human and decrying, degrading continue, uh, condition and this hunt to stop, has to stop. A few among other 
concern stated above must be taken into account subsequently by the international community, Congolese government, government of Rwanda, and UNHCR in examining the process of repatriation of Congolese to, see, to avoid delivering them into this hell and the throat house. In spite to the above situation in the DRC, to enable Congolese refugee repatriation, we recommend different parties of the following to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, stopping killing and persecution, target Congolese to see. DRC government to respect and implement the Rwanda Min Summit of November 23, 2022, and the Nairobi Peace Initiatives. To implement the recent recommendation of the European Union and the USA, including the disarmament and the session of collaboration of FRDC with local and foreign armed groups in the DRC which continue to make internally displaced person and refugee, particularly Congolese Tutsi, because of the ethnicity and the racial background. To the UN, the following the latest alerts from the special ad advice to the Secretary of the United Nations on the prevention of genocide, it is impl 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 imperative that the UN must do the following. Reactivate the disarmament and the repatriation plan of FDRR, who continue to, to coalesce with the local militias making the Congolese to see the permanent, permanent target. This will help to, com to accomplish this never again genocide policy in all the part particular, particularly the Great Lake, Lake region. Push to stop killing against by Nyamurenge in South Kivu, Bahema in Ituri, and our Tutsi who remain in North Kivu. To the Eastern African community, we proud the effort so far made by the Eastern African community, and we and we kindly request to fight against genocide in the Great Lark region and the neutralize disarm, arrest, and being before international tribunal. The permanent the perpetrators of genocide, including the forces, which, con which, commit uh, which committed the genocide in Rwanda in 1994 and all other similar forces uh, which may be formed in the future. In accordance with the 1948 uh, Genocide Convention and the event, United National Security Council resolution. Encourage the international community to assist host countries and the area where refugees live and to, me and to migrate the advance effect of the protracted uh, presence of refugee in spirit of bargain sharing. Taking this recommendation into account could solve the major or cause of the instability of the Eastern DRC, in particular, and the Great Lake region. In general, and make our dream and wish to return to our homeland. As I stated before, no better place than our home. 
Um, and I can say that in the EU community, we are following the situation of what's going on in the Eastern DRC with great concern. And we are raising this issue to our headquarters. And at the last occasion yesterday, we had a conversation when we have decided to also bring this up following the Article 8 dialogue we had and pass this on to Brussels in a report we are sending within shortly. So rest assured that this is something that we have, um, that we are following. We are, we are really, really concerned about it. And we are trying to raise awareness at our headquarter level as well. Thank you.